If you stop to think about it, helmets are disgusting. We put them on our sweaty heads for hours on end, sometimes with products in our hair, and proceed to ride behind cars releasing toxic fumes from their exhausts and kicking up dust. All of this accumulates in the padding of our helmets and creates a pretty gross environment for our heads. I hadn't really thought about it until I decided to clean my helmet the old fashioned way a few years back. I removed the padding, added a dash of washing liquid to some warm water and gently washed the padding by hand. Which was when the color of the water made me realize just how dirty helmets get. So problem solved, right? Well, not at all. Although my helmet smelled good and had less OCD buckling germs, it didn't fit as snugly as before. The padding felt like it had lost some of its will to live and as a result, I've never washed it again in the fear that it will damage the foam even further. But maybe the pros can do a better job. After all, cleaning a helmet is a very touchy subject. Everyone's worried you will damage the padding, weaken the shell or scratch the visor. So surely these big companies with their fancy chemicals know how to effectively clean a helmet without damaging it? Well, to find out, I bought three different brands and six different products to put to the test to see which option if any, you should opt for to clean your helmet inside and out. This is Motorex's Helmet Care Active Foam. It looks like shaving cream and I think it's kind of supposed to because it is foam like the name suggests. It's got this fancy looking nozzle and kind of smells like bubble gum. It is the second most expensive and it isn't the biggest. But the most annoying part is that the can has a lot to say about being used on the inside of your helmet and doesn't mention that it can be used on the outside. However, luckily I stumbled on Motorex's YouTube channel where they have a few videos showing that you can use it not only on the outside of a helmet, but on plenty of other gear too. We have two entries from Muckoff their foam fresh interior cleaner that even states on the can that it can be used on more than just helmets. It's also the best color, smells citrusy and has a simple nozzle. However, it is the most expensive by quite a margin, but it is the one I was most excited to try out. They definitely want to stand out from the crowd because they have the biggest and smallest products here. This tiny little thing is Muckoff's visor, lens and goggle cleaner and literally advertises that it wasn't tested on bunnies and is biodegradable. Although it can't be used on anti-fog surfaces, which I just think is an excuse to get you to buy another one of their products. Motel also seemed to tackle the helmet cleaning problem in two separate products. And you might think this is just a marketing stunt to get you to buy twice as many products. But I'd like to think that the interior and exterior of your helmet require different approaches when cleaning. However, I do think it should be more like Muckoff's approach where the interior is a foam and the exterior is a liquid. Whereas these are two liquids and they just seem a bit too similar. They are both priced down the middle and sized down the middle and have the best nozzle in my opinion. And finally we have the wild card or underdog and the only one that doesn't start with an M. This is a helmet and visor cleaner from a local company here called Dirt Nurse. And the reason I'm giving it a try is because their bike cleaning products have impressed me in the past. At $2 it is the cheapest by far. It can clean the interior and exterior in one product. It's biodegradable and has anti-fog built in. So even though you might not be able to get this where you are, I'm sure you have a local equivalent that is cheaper because it was produced locally. But you might not be sure if it can compete with the big names. So let's find out. I harvested the padding from two helmets that have been used for years without any care for the interiors. 
and a mildly bug splattered visor from my helmet that's at the point I'd normally clean it. Every piece that has experienced a different environment of dirt and grime got divided into quadrants so that every product had the same difficult tasks to contend with, which meant the cleaning spree could begin. The interiors were the first to get some TLC. Each quadrant was assigned a different product and piece by piece each product got its time to shine. Literally. I read the instructions on the can before starting and followed them as well as vague instructions could be followed. It went muck off, motorex, motel, dirt nose. Muck off, motorex, motel, dirt nose. And after four pieces to practice on, I learned each product's quirks and features. Then off to the windowsill it was to dry overnight. Next was the visor's turn. The same process unfolded, leaving the Motorex for last this time, because it can't help itself but splash over every other quadrant. They were applied, given a minute to soak in, and wiped off, to see how effectively they removed bug dust. Yet, unlike the interiors, the results could be seen immediately. Makov might not be tested on bunnies, but I don't think it would clean one very well either. For its price versus size, I had high expectations. The nozzle is simple and does the job perfectly, but the bugs still needed a bit of persuading to vacate. There were also spots on the visor once it had been fully dried. Motorex was surprisingly good, considering the can doesn't even suggest you use it on the exterior of your helmet. Snow foaming the visor was rather satisfying after learning how to spray it correctly, but I'll get to that in a minute. It's a bit painful to wipe off the bubbles that don't budge, but it softened the bugs just like you'd expect. Motel also did exactly what you would expect, but no more. The nozzle is by far my favorite, being ergonomic, delivering a predictable amount and a decent amount with a solid spray and diameter. It softens the bugs adequately, but dries leaving a few too many streaks. And our underdog dirt nurse performed very similarly to Makov with its dried spots, but softened bugs better, making you question Makov's price tag even more. More importantly, the following day all the padding was dry, which meant the whole experience could be taken into consideration. Overall, they did look a bit more sprightly, but there's more to it than that. Makov was first to have a go the previous day. I learned that it had an utterly useless nozzle, spraying foam everywhere you didn't want it. It had the right idea, but wasn't that great in reality. The foam created its own air pockets, which meant some areas of padding didn't even get exposed, without some human intervention. It would probably be better if you left the padding in or used it on other gear. The bubbles soak in or dissolve quite nicely when leaving it on for a few minutes, despite the fizzing sound, making it a breeze to wipe off, although it was the only product that didn't remove dirt when wiping it off. The citrus smell could trick my brain into thinking it's clean, but I'm not so sure I want a citrus helmet on my head every day. Once dry, there was no sign of it ever being there. The citrus smell was nowhere to be found and the beforehand helmet smell had returned. The area looked slightly darker across from the Motorex, which wasn't very confidence instilling and ever so slightly oily to the touch. The Motorex had the biggest learning curve of all with its ridiculous two finger nozzle. The muck off approach to spraying the foam didn't work. But by the last piece, I finally figured out how it's actually supposed to be done. A layer of snow foam covers the area, sneaking into all the crevices and then begins to expand, which is a brilliant concept. It doesn't dissolve as much as Makov, making it more fiddly to wipe off, but did remove dirt while rubbing. It was also the only product whose sanitary smell remained the following day and eliminated the helmet smell. 
the lighter color and clean to the touch feel was pretty positive. Motil was the easiest to apply. The instructions simply ask you to spray it on and wait for it to dry. No wiping off or any fancy foaming, which made me a bit skeptical, but who am I to argue with Motil? Although pleasant and subtle, the smell had still vanished, but thankfully the helmet smell was less noticeable. It looked lighter across from the dirt nurse, but was a little oily to the touch, which could be down to the lack of wiping off. And finally, the dirt nurse. If I hadn't read the fine print on the back, I would never have decided to use it on my helmet in it. But it assured me it was up for the job. With limited instructions, I opted for letting it sit for a few minutes before wiping it off where some dirt came with it. But I still didn't know how effective it would be. Once dry, it didn't leave any signs of its hard work. The helmet smell was back, although it wasn't oily to the touch. My favorite interior cleaner was effortless to decide on, but I was still undecided between Motorex and Motil for the interior. So to settle the draw, I divided my grubby helmet in half and let each one have at it. Again, the Motil went first because of the Motorex's messy habits and it did a good job. Well, good until Motorex got its turn to fill the bug clogged vents and dusty visor mechanism. It might be unconventional, but there's something really satisfying about snow foaming your helmet. And it's incredible expandable foam softens and cleans brilliantly. The right side looked brand new, while the left hand side looked like a rush job using the wrong products. So now that I've bought a lifetime supply of helmet cleaners, which product will I be using to clean my helmet from now on? Well, as much as I wanted to use Muckoff's Foam Fresh, and even though Motil's spray nozzle will keep me entertained for hours, I'm going straight for Motorex's Active Foam. It has the best applicator system, provided you know how to use it. Smells the cleanest with the smell I would most likely want to find in my helmet every day, and that doesn't disappear overnight. It also looks the cleanest on both accounts and is competitively priced when you consider it's an all in one design. Every product has its flaws, but Motorex's are the only ones I'm willing to live with, and I recommend you give it a go as well. But anyway, let me know what products or methods you use to clean your helmet that I missed out. Hit the like button if this video helped you out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next ride.